Hi, welcome back. Today we are going to do day two of one step equations. So let's just review a little bit of what we talked about yesterday. First of all, we talked about how an equation means that two sides are equal to each other. Here's an example of an equation, 2x equals 10. So two times something is equal to 10. And we are trying to get the x by itself. That's how we figure out what the value of x is. And we get x by itself by doing, basically it's like a little puzzle, or little maneuvers that you do. So you do the inverse operation to both sides. Yesterday we talked about the inverse operations of plus and minus going together. And today we're gonna to talk about multiplying. So the inverse operation of multiplying is dividing. And what we're gonna use the symbol that looks like a fraction bar. So that is equivalent to dividing, okay? So we're just gonna focus on multiplying. So the inverse operation that we're going to be doing today is going to be dividing. So let's look at a problem. Here we have one, 2x equals 10. This literally says two times something equals 10. Both sides are equal. They're both equal to 10. They're just different ways of, of making 10. So the inverse operation of this multiplying, we said was dividing. So we're gonna divide by two. And we have to do that on both sides. And we get x equals five because 10 divided by two is five. And two x divided by two, these make one. Two divided by two is one, so you're left with one x. And there you have it. Let's look at another one. So maybe sometimes the it might look a little bit different. So we're gonna look at one that looks a little bit different. So this one has five times y equals 15. And this dot is being used to represent multiplying. And I have y as our variable instead of x. So, but still we said that the inverse operation of multiplying is dividing. And we're gonna use this fraction bar to divide. So we're gonna do five times y divided by five, and we have to do it to the other side to keep the two sides the same. They have to be balanced. Five divided by five is one, so we're left with one y. And 15 divided by five is three. So y is equal to three. And you can always go back and check. Substitute three for y. Five times three equals 15. That is a true number sentence right there, a true equation. So that makes it correct. Okay, well, thank you, great lesson, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.